Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your dental school BFF, and today I'll be sharing some things that I've learned from my dental school experience. Um, I have my phone here because I have some notes written down and I want to make sure that I go through everything. So before we start, I'd like to preface this video by saying that I am only sharing my own thoughts and my own opinions based on my experience and I do not by any means wish to push them on anybody or insist that mine is correct or better than anybody else's opinion and experience. I am not here to preach. I am not here to judge anybody's journey. I am simply here because I would like to inform and be helpful to you guys. So, I'll be talking about dentistry and dental school so you can understand what it is a bit better or so you can understand what you probably need to know or think about if you're applying to dental school. Um, I'll also be talking about this idea that I believe a lot of people get wrong about dental school and dentistry. So the reason I wanted to make this video is I know too many dental students who are actually, some of them, a lot of them are my friends, who went to dental school without having any idea or the proper idea about what dentistry is and what dentists do. Um, a lot of them are not happy. A lot of them wish or regret going to dental school. And in my case, the friends that I have in my school can't just shift out of the course because at my university, they require um, certain medical courses or healthcare courses, including dentistry, to agree to this contract and sign it, which basically provides that these are the key things. First, once you've hit 60 academic units, we can't shift out of our course anymore unless we pay this certain sum of money. And then second, we have to work in the Philippines for two years within the five years after we graduate. Um, I believe the reason for this contract was to address the brain drain in our country because a lot of our professionals are working abroad now. And again, I'm not judging anything, I'm just stating facts. Just some truth bombs. Um, but yeah, so I think that's why they created this contract. And we were all aware of this before we entered dental school. We all had to sign, read the contract and everything. But unfortunately, for many reasons, you know, the students who are currently unhappy or who currently regret it or those who didn't understand what they were getting themselves into still signed this contract because, you know, they didn't realize what the course would actually be. So, to start, so I'm assuming that you are considering going to dental school. So I'd like you to think about why you want to take up dentistry. Um, do you have an interest in science, in medicine, or in healthcare? Is it because of practical reasons, like you want to be secure, you want to have financial stability, you want to have work-life balance? You know, that's a great, a beautiful term now that you're all learning. I'd also like you to think about your skills. What are your talents? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Do you have an eye for detail? Do you like working with your hands? I think it's pretty self-explanatory why I think you should think about these things. Um, in my case, I only knew that I wanted to be a dentist when I was in my third year of high school, when I was already thinking about college applications. I knew that I wanted to have my own time. I knew that I wanted to be able to work and go on vacation whenever I wanted. Now these were all the practical things that I was thinking about. And because I didn't really know what I wanted yet, I was going through like a process of el elimination. So first, I was thinking about what I knew I wanted. So I also knew that I wanted to be my own boss. I wanted to be financially secure as well. I wanted to ha eventually have work-life balance. I wanted to become a professional and have a skill because I wanted to be somebody that people or society needed. Again, this was a practical consideration because in my mind, you know, if society needs you, then you're just always gonna have a job, which would be nice. Um, Skills-wise, I liked working with my hands, um, and I do have an eye for detail. Um, when I say an eye for detail, I mean, I feel like I can generally sort of discern 
very nuanced or small details like when two very similar objects sometimes I can tell oh one seems bigger than the other the colors seem a little bit different you know just very small things basically which is why it's having an eye for detail small things <laughs> anyways I'm also a bit of a perfectionist um, I'm not saying that's necessarily a good thing but it can be advantageous because in dentistry we do a lot of fine work and a lot of the treatment that we our procedures that we have to perform do require some level of perfection or at least it brings out an element of needing to be as close to perfect as humanly possible because in dentistry and in dental school they always tell us and we tell our patients that we are not God um, we cannot reproduce or we cannot make an exact replica or exact copy of what God has naturally made us. Um, and I already knew these things about myself because ever since I was a kid, I love doing arts and crafts. I was creative in that way. I like drawing, even though I'm not a fantastic artist by any means. But I knew that, you know, when I pictured something in my head, I could draw it with up to maybe 70, 80, or 90% accuracy, which I think is good enough and I also didn't mind sitting or working on a project for an extended period of time. And when I was, you know, assessing myself and sort of bouncing ideas off with my mom about it, she thought that I had the temperament for dentistry because I did have the patience in that sense. Now, it's not to say that you have to be patient and that you don't get upset or that you have to have a really, you know, great temper. Not at all. Um, I was also really interested in science and watching and learning about medical things. I loved medical series, not just like Grey's Anatomy, but I loved watching the like the real medical meat of it. Like I loved watching the procedures, whatever surgeries they were doing. I loved watching things that were kind of bloody in the medical setting. You know, I wasn't squeamish. Again, not a requirement, but an advantage. And. On top of that, another aspect of dentistry is actually it's also a very social occupation because we're with uh, with different people every day. We're interacting with patients every day and I do enjoy that social aspect of it. And actually when I was a kid, so again going through self-assessment, when I was a kid, I thought, like really young, maybe seven, eight years old, I thought that I wanted to be a teacher. And now that I'm already in dental school, I realized that being a dentist is actually a lot like being a teacher as well because we are constantly educating our patients. We have oral health education as always part of the treatment plan and then we also have to educate them about the treatment. We even have to educate them about like post-operative care, things like that. So we're just constantly educating them every step of the way and you have to do it well. We have strategies for educating our patients as well so you know that was sort of nice. Like it kind of, it's like things came full circle for me because I'm still somehow able to fulfill that childhood dream that I had. Um, sharing lang. <laughs> sharing lang. And so going back, aside from knowing what I wanted, again, because I was sort of doing a process of elimination, I also thought about what I didn't want. Now these were things that I was very like, sure, I don't want, like I don't want that. Um, I knew that I didn't want a desk job. I didn't want to work in the corporate setting. I didn't want to take up anything that was math heavy like engineering. I didn't want to take up accounting. I didn't want to become a lawyer. I didn't want to go to business school. I didn't even want to go to med school to become a physician. So those were really helpful too because I knew, okay, not this, not this, not this. Now, the big advantage that I had in making my decision was that my mom is a dentist and I was exposed to dentists and dentistry my entire life. But my mom never forced dentistry on me. In fact, when I was a kid, and up even until my earlier years in high school, I thought, no way, I don't want to be a dentist. Um, because I thought it was boring, you know, just really immature and, um, yeah, just immature things that I was saying. Because I don't know if you guys feel the same way. If your parents do something, you think, oh, this looks so boring, I don't want to do it. That's what I thought. But then, you know, things changed and you know my mom also says it herself which is why she doesn't force dentistry on me and she doesn't believe in forcing it on anybody but 
again, you can't force dentistry on people because it is too difficult for that. In fact, when I was making my decision, my mom would repeatedly ask me, like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to be a dentist? Because it's not easy. And she's a dentist. You know, you'd think, oh, she's biased. Of course she would push you. That wasn't the case at all. My mom was very realistic. I know, obviously, not everybody can or does know what they want straight out of high school. In the Philippines, dentistry is an undergraduate program, meaning we go straight to dental school right after high school. Unlike in other countries where it's like medicine, where you have to take a bachelor's first before you apply to dental school. In our case, dentistry is a six-year program, but it's an undergraduate program. So students enter usually right after high school. And, you know, if you are somebody who just had no clue about what dentistry is, it could, it could be a hit and miss for you when you enter dental school. You could love it or you could hate it. And that would be a very difficult place to be in. Now, let's get into the thing that I believe a lot of people get wrong about dentistry. And this is, some people think that dentistry is easier than medicine. Oh my God, this drives me nuts. Or that it's easy, period. I've heard so many stories from my friends or from other dental students who took dentistry because they or their family members misguidedly thought that dentistry was the easiest or an easier way to become a doctor. And they all realized how wrong they were now. In fact, I would argue that dentistry is just as hard as medicine. And we have the added co component of dexterity and the skills portions. Meaning, you need to be good with your hands. Um, to put it simply, we need to be able to create what are mind pictures. And not everybody is naturally able to do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, the skills obviously can be improved and you can develop them as well, but some people just naturally don't. Either they don't have the hands or they don't have the eye for it. And, you know, not all physicians become surgeons. Not all physicians work with their hands. I didn't go to med school, but I don't think that they are required to have like a really hardcore dexterity component. Unlike dental school, wherein even if you eventually don't become a clinician when you're a dentist, let's say you go into research, or you just go into other fields where you don't really have to work with your hands, when you're in dental school, you have to. You have to at least be good enough to pass and to graduate. Plus, you know, another reason why dentistry is not easier than medicine, we do have to study medical subjects. I mean, we have to study like general anatomy, general pathology, general histology, general physiology, pharmacology, microbiology, etc. On top of oral anatomy, head and neck anatomy, oral pathology, oral histology, oral physiology, oral microbiology, etc. Plus, all the dentistry-specific subjects like endodontics, periodontics, oral surgery, prosthodontics, pediatric dentistry. I mean, tell me, does that sound easy to you? <laughs> so, Hearing people think this way about dentistry really just, you know, like why? It makes me a bit sad because it reminds me that we have such a long way to go in terms of respecting dentists in our country and educating our communities about oral health. It really, because I've been exposed to it, I did not have this notion, but when I got into dental school, that's when my eyes opened and I realized there's so many misconceptions and there are so many misguided ideas about the field. So if you are thinking about becoming a dentist, know that educating our patients and our communities is a responsibility that we also have to take seriously. So now, I mean, for me, after being in dental school for six years, I mean, yes, I'm delayed, but I won't get into that now. And don't let that discourage you. I can confidently say now that I love dentistry and I love learning it. Um, but my love for it, you know, it developed and deepened over the years. It did not start this way for me at all. It started more of as an interest. Um, I went to dental school not feeling like, oh, like I love, I love dentistry, like I love teeth and nothing like that at all it was just like yeah like you know this fascinates me this interests me so that's what that's how it started and as i learned in school and i did more work that's when i found how much i really enjoyed it and that's where my 
passion and love for it grew. Maybe I'm also just lucky that I found the thing that I love. I don't know, but I'm also aware and I appreciate that I am where I am and I made the right decision because of my friends and family and other loved ones who guide me continually until now and encourage me to learn and they push me to think about who I am, about what I want to be and what kind of person I am and also to think about and explore you know, all the different aspects of life. So I'm very appreciative of this and this was a great blessing that I had in my life and you know they also always instilled in me that I had to work hard for my dreams so that really put me in a good place and I am very thankful mom dad best friends aunties uncles if you're watching this thank you I'm very appreciative I am very aware of all the good things you have done for me also to my best friends love you guys okay going back I hope this video helps you make the right decision for you. This decision should be tailored to who you are because not everybody is cut out for dentistry or is, you know, made to become a dentist. And if you do choose to go to dental school, I hope that you love dentistry as much as I do. If not more, like that would be great. So, if you have any questions about what I discussed in this video or, you know, if there's anything that you would just like to say and input that you have, please don't hesitate to put them down in the comment section below. If you have anything else related in mind that you would like me to talk about or any experience of mine that you'd like me to share with you, again, please let me know. I would really love to hear from you guys. And if you like this video and if you find it helpful, please click on the subscribe button for more videos and maybe show me some love and friendship by giving this a thumbs up as well. So, thank you for spending this time with me. I really appreciate it. Um, I wish you all the best of luck on your dental journey. I hope you enjoy dental school. Maybe I'll even see you guys in campus, but I mean, I'm hoping as well that I will get to graduate soon. Take care everybody and please go with kindness today.